Hi, this week I'm going to go back to basics. I'm going to show you how to schedule a tweet in Hootsuite. I'm also going to run through how to maximize that tweet for optimum um, use within Twitter. And I'm also going to show you how to edit that tweet once you've made that dreadful mistake and if you've already scheduled it, it's like, oh, I really want to delete that, but you don't know how. So that's what I'm going to do on Hootsuite today. Sound complicated? Shh, it's not. Believe me. Honestly, it's not complicated. It's really easy, busy, busy. Hi there, um, today we're going to show you how to schedule tweets um, within um, Hootsuite. I'm only going to do it to, to Twitter, not to any other platforms, but obviously if you're on the free version, you can actually post up to five different platforms. But anyway, let's crack on with the auto schedule. First thing you need to do is to make sure that you've written your tweet or your message. So I've written one here and I've written, let's decide what we're going to tweet with at Julia Doherty. So I've tagged myself in. So whoever you tag in, as long as you put their at sign there, then they will get a message um, on Hootsuite say that we can shed, uh, so that we can schedule the message. Now, one of the key things that I want to do is actually use optimize this. So I'm going to use some hashtags. Um, but reading through this, the only thing that I would hashtag is the word Hootsuite. Some people will go a bit mad with hashtags and the golden rule with hashtags is no more than two hashtags in any one tweet. And sometimes even that can be too much. I can guarantee if someone else was writing this, they'd probably put a hashtag in front of the word schedule. But, you know, who's going to follow that hashtag? Anyway, that's a completely different story. So how we're going to do now is if you click on the calendar, you then get two types of scheduling. The first one is auto schedule and the second one is a standard schedule. So let me quickly explain about auto schedule. It says new there, um, but it's been going probably about three or four months now. Um, but auto schedule will have a look at all the tweets that you've pre-scheduled. And if there's a gap somewhere, if you put this tweet into auto schedule, it will pop that tweet into the gap that you've got. So it's a little bit like Buffer, if any, if any of you have used Buffer at all before. So I only use the auto schedule on two occasions. Once if I'm doing lots of retweets or if I have something on perhaps LinkedIn that I just want to share that I've seen in LinkedIn today, I'll pop it into auto schedule and I know then it will go out during the gap and I'm not over um, feeding my news feed. Uh, the second thing I usually do is on follow Friday. So I'll auto schedule a follow Friday so they don't all go out at the same time. So that's why I use the auto schedule. Um, the other thing that we do is you've got the calendar down here. So that's what we're going to do on this occasion. We're not going to auto schedule it. So we're going to send this tweet out next Friday. So next Friday is the 3rd of uh, May. And what time should we send it out? We'll send it out at 8 o'clock, uh, 8.35 in the morning. Okay. Next thing you do is then select um, whichever Twitter account you want. So on this occasion, I'm going to send it to the green umbrella Twitter account. And then all you do is click schedule. Pop. Okay, so that's it. Your message is scheduled and you thought, oh no, I really don't want to send that out. Or I've, perhaps I've cancelled that appointment. I really need to delete that particular tweet that I've scheduled for next week. So I'm going to show you quickly how to delete or edit a pre-scheduled tweet or message. So you're going to go over here to your little publisher, which is your little paper aeroplane. Click on the word publisher. Um, go to the account that you want. So I want the green umbrella Twitter account. And there it is. There's the tweet. So I can either click in the little box there and just stick it in the trash or I can hover over here and I've got a little edit button. If I click the little pencil with the edit button then I can edit my tweet or my message from there. So I can send it a different day. I can edit the actual content of it. I hope that helps. See you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.